Compromise is most certainly not surrender. It is quite uh, the opposite. It is, in fact, sir, the bedrock on which all good government is laid. It is only by finding a, an agreement that we can see government proceed. By finding what we hold in common, that we might continue to greater strengthen our nation. There are always some opinions where compromise may not be reached. There are always some opinions which are more important than others, and I am not suggesting that you should allow those to drift aside. But what you do is you allow the ones that are less important so that your nation continues to grow and survive. Our entire system of government is built upon compromise. The Constitution is itself a compromise. I can tell you very, uh, very plainly that when we first gathered, that not every man in that uh, chamber in the convention had the same opinions on what our new system of government should be. We reach compromise, not the least of which is how our states are represented within the Congress. That certainly is not the Virginia plan that Mr. Madison brought with him. Years ago, when we first met in Congress in 74, we entered into a great debate regarding what manners of prayer should we begin our meetings in. Should they be Congregationalist? Should they be Church of England? And one of the wisest members of the Virginia delegation, the eldest member of our delegation, Colonel Bland, he stood up and he said, this didn't matter, that we must remember why we are gathered, which was to determine whether or not we would have our rights and liberties as free-born British subjects stripped away from us. We must always keep in our mind the greater purpose and not lose ourselves in debates of our petty bickering amongst one another. 